Hello, hi students. So hope you remember our previous class details, right? So we were discussing about escalator, correct? Yes. So now proceeding further, we have one more component in place that we call it as a travelator. So in our very first video, you know, I had shown you the same image back then. You know, we had discussed uh, very uh, briefly about, you know, where travelators will be used and how they work, correct? So, let us further understand uh, how this particular system also works and where they are used, alright? Yes. So, travelator is, it is almost flat or it is a flat component. Uh, you call it as a moving sideway. Uh, probably you find it in a typically on an airport in an airport or other locations where there are excessive amount of people moving from one point to another point okay so in the industry a travelator is also called as a moving walkway or auto walk or moving pavement or moving sidewalk or a people mover is what it says okay so moving walkways can be used by standing or walking on them okay because it is a plane that moves from one point to another you can stand on it and it takes some time to transport you from a point to point or you can also walk on them if you want to okay so they are often installed in pairs so one for each direction uh, the back and forth movement from any point then uh, they are generally travel in a lower speed than the natural walking pace so this is one something one has to understand because because each one will have their own walking pace so this is designed in such a way it's more slightly slower than your actual walking pace okay and uh, so that you know uh, walkways are very useful in order to move heavy crowd from one point to another all right yeah and we also have some uh, types over here so again their classification happens on three categories one is according to inclination uh, that is we have from 0 degrees inclination and uh, we also have up to 15 degree is the maximum inclination is what is used. So second classification is according to the flat moving surface meaning on the platform where you step into. Okay, So one is the pallet type and second one is the moving belt type. All right. So, and the third classification is according to speed. So, you, you can govern and manage the speed according to what you need. So, it could be a slow speed or, you know, a high speed type of whatever, where it depends on where you are trying to install this type of travelator. Okay. So, you can definitely understand seeing the images. So, the bottom most what you have is the zero degree and the middle one is around 10 degree and the first one what you see the topmost is around 12 to 15 degree in inclination so this is how a travelator will look like okay and according to this uh, moving surface we have pallet type uh, you can see here you can see this strip 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 moving right so these are like pallets one pallet is connected to each other and they are also spaced one beside each other and it just moves uh, for example you can imagine the steps of an escalator back then we studied yeah imagine the steps of an escalator being flattened okay this is how it looks yes and here next we have moving belt type so this is more like a conveyor belt you would have seen in industries where the goods will be moved from a point to point a conveyor belt right so even in construction industries you would have seen the kind of material transportation with the help of conveyor belt so similar concept is used here you have a belt on which you have a rubber topping so that you have a good friction when you move on top of it okay clear yes 
So next is the speed. Uh, see generally what happens in a uh, travelator is we have uh, if you see this diagram over here this is the speed pattern how a uh, travelator works. So which means as soon as we step on to the travelator over here this will be a low speed zone. Okay, so next we have a slightly variable speed zone and then we have a high speed zone. So keeping this in mind, you can govern and modulate the movement or the speed of the travelator from low to high. Okay, is that clear? Yes. So next we have general dimensions. Uh, see the dimensions of a travelator is very similar to that of an escalator when it's when it comes to the width part of it. So but when it comes to this elevational dimensions, uh, we need to be providing one meter height almost for the handrail for any uh, normal person to hold the hand for the grip purpose and to move and also the lower portion around you know 1.07 meter where the truss work and the entire mechanism is fitted inside that we studied the components also right i hope you remember the major components of the escalator correct so same components comes here just that the inclination becomes either zero or it is almost at a 10 or 12 to 15 degrees okay yeah so where do we use these travelators we have just studied some time ago you know where there is excessive mass crowd moving from one point to another so where do we find them generally one is definitely airports too many people you know walking from one point to another and public transport systems like metro stations railway stations you will find this urban areas like uh, outside you might find it in malls and libraries etc and you also find it in museums and theme parks so it could be both an external or semi enclosed type of a travelator okay clear yes so next we have the components this is very similar to an escalator as we discussed every part and component is very similar to escalator just that the change is that the steps has been transformed into a flat plate or a flat plane which moves from one point to another okay you can see this you have a truss you need tracks, you need motor, you need service tracks, you need handrails, you need a pallet chain and you need to have balustrades and balustrade panel, handrail, you need to have skirt plate and you have comb plates, so controller, all of these are very similar to that of escalator that you have studied in the previous video. Okay. So next we have about the safety devices. This is also similar to the escalator. You have this emergency stop button and you have the complete uh, safety switch and then you have handrail slots and then you have this uh, safety devices for the chains and you have this demarcations written on the pallets so that you know between two pallets you understand there is a gap and that is the joint for between the two pallets so you step onto it carefully and you have maintenance switch so that whenever you want to main, uh, do the servicing you will stop the machine and then operate them and you have footlights during late evenings then you when you have to pass by you need to definitely have footlights and you need to have a skirt guide so the skirt guard is very helpful so that you don't end up putting your foot very close to the movement of the chain okay and we also have speed governors because you know in, because it's a mechanism that has been designed in case if they go off track you need to have the speed detectors and speed governors which help us indicate saying that you know something is going wrong so that you put them back to track okay 
so these are the information related to a travelator component i hope by now you are very much clear about this module on uh, uh, module number three that we spoke about mechanical transportation systems in any building so just quickly briefing the whole part we have three types that is an elevator or a lift second one was a escalator and third one was a travelator so in this three typologies we have definitely understood you know how national building code plays a role and what are the various dimensions available how and where do we place them how do we calculate the handling capacity or the passenger capacity and then what are the physical dimensions required to place them where do we place them how do we place them how do these mechanical systems work and what are the various classifications and what are the advantages and disadvantages of every classification and this is what we have understood for all the three typologies okay yes so i hope this module uh, has given you an insight about the various mechanical transportation systems that we are using in our architectural design and what are the prevailing things that we see in the industry okay so a lot of other uh, detailed informations will definitely be sent to you over this uh, ppt so you can also refer the ppt in detail for you to go through for your exams so i wish you a very all the best to your examinations thank you